and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of does war. does need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Throwing a boy who stinks of fear to a pack of wolves is not the best way to train him. Are you sure that's what Cheowulf wants? Mm, he left it open for interpretation. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. Ah! And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than in the middle of a pack of Danes. Say, from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, for any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Chilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, 
I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something, as if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Shale wolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish thing for treason! My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men! We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a batsman ram? I've seen them in action. I don't know what the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. To test your skill at all, Og. Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted a fight. Now we'll give him one. 
Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Soldiers, King the King in me.
We have this! <laughs> Snuff you out! I'll take you! <laughs> It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Cheowulf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chilbert was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this.
Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We're wasting time. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go. I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Danish longhouse, where Tona's clan has settled. This is not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Come, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. I know. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. 
From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hunt. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clods. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Cheowulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount and maybe Cheowulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Tempelbrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledesre and Templebroth Fort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. To hell with you. Time has come for you. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. 
Let Estra and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Lederchester is a large village. And Templebroch. It's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again, not unless you're bound for Helheim. I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah, this one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Dringir. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. If they see me, this will get messy. Aid me, be my eyes.
Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templerbrach? No. And if Burgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. There is nothing holy to these heathens, save blood and plunder, perhaps. Savages. Well, anyway. Very advanced. They won't look the old way for us. Church is well guarded. Might find a way around. Sunan, guide me. Planetum revolutum said no no who belongs
Keep it up, lads. Every little bit helps. The farmers are starting to push back. Then kindly remind them of their duty to Mercia and to their king. You heard Leia Frith? Secure whatever food you can. The Danes won't hesitate to burn our fields, and if we can't eat, we can't fight. Quite a haul of goods they've hidden away. Crates full of food and supplies. Burgret's not giving up without a fight. This must be the bathhouse. Need to find a way inside. Yes, I agree. Tantum amas te qui elegit, ma ad vaso focato. Pancantoria me esatam in fide per. This is bollocks. We should be out there fighting to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Leofrith's orders. Leofrith's orders? Bah! <laughs> the king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every chance he gets. As done ever since the Danes showed up.
stop you. Damn coward! Just in case. Shale bath. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Eva's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself. ...and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife. The Lady Arvilswith. She's in Templebloch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva! Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. They're everywhere. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man, fight! Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My god. 
I didn't want it to come to this. It would have killed you, Chilbeth. You had no choice. Now don't move. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobert could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burgred's lady Athelsweth is in Templebroch. I'm going to find out what she knows. And your oars. Run up the stairs!
better than the tight-lipped man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. 